Hi, YouTube. Okay. So I want to share a rapture dream with you guys. I know everybody don't believe in the rapture. That's all right. You don't have to believe in a rapture. Just know that, you know, the whole reason Jesus came and died was to offer us salvation, um, to save us from a time that's coming up on the earth. And um, I am a rapture believer. And um, I have put all my faith and my trust in the Lord that he'll spare me when it's time. But I'm making this video because I had a dream the other day that I would like to share with everybody. First of all, I have three children. And I stay in prayer about my three children. Um, my mama named me Rachel from the Bible. It's kind of it's like wild how sometimes I feel like my life match up with um, what Jeremiah prophesied about Rachel. Um, weeping for her children. Seemed like I've been weeping for my children since they came out. But anyways, um, so I've been praying about my, my children. Um, and um, just, you know, I want the Lord to lead them to him, saying that kind of stuff. And, um, you know, I just, I pray about the rapture, like, Lord, can you please let my children make it? I know they don't listen to me. But, you know, they probably they don't even believe what I say when it comes to the rapture and lore. But, you know, just put it in their hearts. Maybe one could be, you know, saved for the rapture. And um, so he gave me a dream. Um, okay, how it first started out. In real life, when I get ready to go on vacation, I ask the Lord, can I go first? Because I feel like, you know, there are different spirits, different principality spirits in different areas. And, you know, I know the Lord got angels protecting me where I am. Um, so I just think it's, you know, best to ask the Lord, Lord, can I go here, you know, um, before I actually decide to do it. And so I've been praying about going to um, Fort Lauderdale for my birthday. And, um, and of course, I, the Lord provides for me. So, of course, I have to ask him. But um, anyways, I've been praying about going to Fort Lauderdale for my birthday. And um, so in this dream, I was at the beach in Fort Lauderdale. And um, I was with my husband. And um, we were standing on the shore of the water. And this, in the dream, I remembered it to be the second, second time. The second time. This, it had happened before. Um... But we looked in the water, and there were a lot of homosexual people in the water. Um, they were, like, playing around and stuff. And I don't know if you guys know who Black China is, but she is, a like, an Instagram model, ex-stripper, married rap, well, have dated a lot of rappers, just got out of a relationship and had a child with Rob Kardashian. I saw her running into the water. And I was thinking, hmm, you know, okay. And I knew their thoughts. I knew what they were thinking in the water. Or I don't know if he screamed it out, but I knew what he was thinking. And he wanted, one of the guys wanted my husband to get in the water. Um, get in the water and come and play with them. You know, it was kind of, it was perverted. And um, I rebuked him. Then out of nowhere, a dust storm came. A dust storm came, came, and it was like so blinding that we couldn't see anything. I looked up in the sky, and I saw an angel creating the dust storm over the people um, that were in the water. Um, after that, I ended up going back home in this dream. When I got back home, um, I saw my two daughters. Two of them, they were standing on a... Um, on the patio upstairs and I couldn't run to him because I was hiding behind a building there was somebody there looking for me like and he had a gun in his hand he was like where is she where is she and um, so I was hiding behind the building and I was yelling to them jump and come on come with me jump and um, the daughter that I would least expect to listen to me, jumped off. And when she jumped off the patio, she had kind of like sprained her ankle or something, but she got up and she continued to run. And my younger daughter, <sighs> my younger daughter, 
um, I saw her. Um, she was on the patio, and she wouldn't listen to me. I would say jump, and she would not listen. So she stayed there. And um, I knew it was time to leave. There, I was standing by a railroad track. My other, my older daughter ran to the railroad track and sat down on the railroad track. There were people coming from everywhere, um, sitting on the railroad tracks. Um, and I myself, I was hoping she would jump, but she didn't jump, so I had to leave her. Um, and I went and sat on the railroad track as well. Um, next thing I know, the railroad track started to move. The, the tracks started to move as if it was a form of transportation. And they were moving and we were leaving. Um, it was like a miracle, you know, because the rails, the, how is the rail going to move, you know, and travel anywhere? Um, but I think that that's a way that the Lord was giving me the answer to my prayers because that, that just that day I had prayed about one of my children and I asked the Lord, Okay, what, you know, what does this mean? What do you want me to do, you know, concerning this child? I try to tell her, I try to teach her. And she, she currently lives with her dad. So everything that I teach her, you know, um, the devil snatches right back from her. They, they teach her that not to believe in what I believe in, not to believe in, you know, I'm, I'm basically crazy. And so, you know, and I was just like... I know when she's around me, I can feel her heart, and I know she hears me, you know, and it's just like, you know, but I think the Lord is just letting me know, hey, this is what is looking at, what's, what's going to happen right now. Um, I didn't make this video to so much focus on my daughter. What I did make this video was to warn you guys, warn the homosexual community, God is about to destroy this place. Your flesh is worth more. It's not worth more than your faith. Um, if you love the Lord, you would choose him over what you love. Give up your first love. You know, that's what he said in Revelations. You have left your first love for me. Your first love is your flesh and to do the things of the world and to be with the same sex. If you love the Lord, give up your first love for him. God bless you guys. The Lord judgment is on its way. We got to keep our eyes open, keep our hearts open, and we got to listen for the Holy Spirit, listen for the word of God, listen for when he's speaking with us. Um, the rapture is going to happen. If you don't believe in it, then you're not going to go. That's just as simple as that. God bless you guys, and thank you for listening to me.